Hey guys, Eric and Joshua here to talk about the first trailer for the uh, 2014 incarnation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new live-action film. First live-action film in, you know, about 20 years. If you pause there, if you go back for a sec, this looks like, uh, see that four on the building? Back in the cartoon, April O'Neil worked for Channel 6 News, and we think that this might be um, Channel 4 News, you know, yeah. as like of Anchorman fame. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, th this, this building looks like it's going to become an action set piece uh, in just a second if you... Uh, if we go forward a little more. And uh, here we have our first of many looks at this group of uh, soldiers that are obviously up to no good, who we're fairly sure are the foot in this film. Basically, whether they call them the foot or not, but I think maybe they will, that this is this film's version of uh, what the sort of... Uh, the, the stock soldier that uh, the turtles uh -huh. are going to be And fighting. usually we're, no, we're used to seeing them as like martial artists, you know, ninjas. Yeah. Uh, but now they look more like this like mercenary squad team with guns and stuff. Yeah, we'll talk a bit more about them soon. Uh, the voice over here you're hearing is William Fickner uh, has Eric Sachs, uh, who is the villain of the movie, and a little bit more about him too coming up. Uh, here, yeah, this is what Joshua was talking about. Uh, we're pretty sure this is, looks like the same tower uh, the the uh, the four tower earlier, not the Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Baxter Building. Yeah, yeah, not the yeah. Baxter Building. Uh, but you know, yeah, what's a modern uh, superhero movie without some city destruction? Sorry, getting a little taste of it here. And uh, yeah, Michael Bay produced this film, didn't direct it, although I feel like you see his influence now. Here's a, an important part. This is our first look, although from behind, that's that's William Fickner as Eric Sachs, and there's uh, April O'Neil, Megan Fox. Now he has come out and said, Fickner, he said, "I'm playing Shredder in this movie." So Eric Sachs is Shredder. Uh, we know Shredder is a Rokusaki, but what do we think is going on in this part? Uh, we're not really sure. I guess our theory is that this sort of uh, mural of, of uh, feudal Japan has something to do with the Shredder, like mythology. Mm -hmm. And to see this big guy in the back here, we think that maybe that's the, the Shredder, and he like wants to like become the Shredder of, of modern day times, and uh, Rokusaki. And he, later we'll see he's with the armor, and maybe he, he just wants to become him. Yeah, it's such a drastic reinvention of the character that, yeah, it does make sense that maybe there'd be a nod to what we know uh, from the original comics and story. Here again, uh, we've got a lot of the, these guys that we think are the foot running through. Uh, and, you know, there was an early script that leaked for this movie. It's a completely different script than they ended up filming because Casey Jones was the main character. It had the alien component that there was a lot of fan outcry about. So they've changed almost everything. But one thing that was in that script that I'm guessing got retained was the idea that the foot soldiers would be sort of a black ops group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and here uh, they are in the sewers, probably looking for some turtles. Yeah, I think uh, not going to pay a friendly visit, I'm guessing. And, uh, yeah, oh, here's another, here's our, kind of our best look yet at one of the foot soldiers. A creepy mask. Yeah, that's that's one thing we should mention here is uh, that's not like a dude's, just a dude's face. They are wearing a kind of a strange mask. I guess you could even say that those glasses kind of evoke the bug-eyed mm -hmm. foot soldier I mask. That, yeah. Uh, because, yeah, okay, like here's, here's a slightly... It's 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 quick because so much is going on. But yeah, look there you can see that they all have the same face basically that they're all wearing uh, some creepy masks and plenty of lens flare. <laughs> and uh, then yeah, we've got so, here a lot of uh, chaos going on. Uh, and there, I just want to point out that she's in her signature uh, yellow jacket. <laughs> she is wearing the yellow jacket and. It looks like, based on everything happening, based on her reaction, the fact that, you know, she ends up filming what's happening, that this is her first encounter with the turtles. Maybe she doesn't talk to them, but then she gets a glimpse of the, the turtles save her and everyone else in this train station. And maybe a little callback to the original film and kind of the way that, uh, that she was saved by the turtles. This summer, there will be comic book movies. And that big thing looked like a giant, like... Well, we'll see in a second. It, it's filled with ooze, but that's like the ooze uh, maker. The ooze thing. maker, yeah, I think that is the uh, the Starbucks venti <laughs> ooze maker in effect there. And here we go. That is a teenage mutant ninja turtle. We're getting our first glimpse. We'll get we'll get a much better look Leonardo uh, here. later on. But that's obviously Leo. You get a little bit idea of the fact that these turtles are a little bit more sort of armored up. They're they're wearing more clothes than we're used to. Uh, we've seen some pictures of toys and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they just have a little more gear Created. than we've seen before. Okay, here we go. TCRI. Uh, that is, of course, the classic 
uh, source of the ooze, of the mutation in the uh, Turtles lore, called TGRI in the uh, Ninja Turtles films uh, in the 90s, but I guess I got to use the real name this time. That's what your father and I were trying to get a look at Fickner. Okay, so there's a couple things here. What, what, what do you think's going on here? Oh, uh, well, it looks like this painted wall. It looks like, I don't know, is that like a Japanese character or some sort of like Asian character on the back? I'm not, I'm a little rusty on my. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like in the back. And then uh, to the right of that, there's a, uh, it looks like a, a like a, a boxing, uh, a punching bag. Punching yeah, punching bag. bag. Uh, so it looks like what they've done is like put a bomb on the wall and they've busted through into the lair of the turtles, like their home. Yeah, we're guessing this picks up what we saw earlier when they're running through the tunnels looking for the for the turtles Trying to do. up and then here we've got our first look that is job bluth uh, yeah, <laughs> will arnett uh he's actually playing character named vernon fenwick which if you remember your turtles cartoon well that you should remember that he was uh, april's cameraman and that was a character invented for the animated series really only from that cartoon and the tie-in comics that archie made at the time so they're definitely, you know, I'm guessing they're going to be pulling from a lot of the history of Turtles and using that character that was only from the cartoon is kind of a fun nod. Plus, it's, you know, Will Arnett in a Turtles movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we got going here? This looks to be more of the them busting into the Turtles headquarters, right? Uh-huh. Uh, it looks, we got Donatello here, and he is—he has all sorts of stuff on his on this uh, the front. If you go back a little uh, bit, looks like he has like a camera uh, on his head, or yeah. maybe that's Google Glass. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you keep glass. going just a little bit, uh, he has all this gear on his shell. Like these characters have a lot of personality with everything they're wearing. Here it looks like he has some sort of rotary phone. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a lot going on there, yeah. Maybe he's like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, yeah. And then over there, if you look just sort of in the right, yeah, on those screen, those monitors blinking, this looks like, again, this looks like they're fighting in the, the, the home of the turtles in the sewers, and that's like his, those are uh, Donnie's computers. Yeah, we're thinking that's probably uh, Donnie's setup here. Up. Oh. And here you go, uh, your one look at the Shredder armor that we know Eric Sachs will be, you know, we're assuming wearing by the end of the movie. Uh, looks looks pretty cool from the one glimpse we get of it. Uh, and again, yeah, we don't know a lot about the Eric Sachs character, but it does seem like, yeah, he there's something going on with the history of the Shredder and whether he acquired this armor or built it based on something he once read about. Uh, he's, he's got a reason that it means a lot to him. And yeah, some more... Uh, there's that tower from earlier. <laughs> there's that tower from earlier, destroying the year that this movie is coming out <laughs> in. <laughs> One fell swoop. And uh, and there's a little ninja for you, little, some flips. Uh. And there we go. There's uh, there's Leo. A good look at uh, Leonardo. And he's got that chess piece, that uh, sort of like sa callback to like samurai uh, mm -hmm. armor. Yeah. And definitely, yeah, you get you can see the uh, the armor plating uh, and on the uh, thigh, the places they don't have shell that they are protecting. And, and then here, here, <laughs> yeah, a lot going on here. <laughs> He's I don't know. I feel like I saw this in in Clone Wars season six. I feel like I saw this in a James Bond movie. <laughs> you know, if you're you know if you're in the snow and you're in an action set piece, uh, you know you're gonna go sliding. There's sort of a Fastball special happening here with Donatello flinging uh, Raph, who we're seeing for the first time, Raphael. Yeah, here, we'll, we'll pause. Uh, the best look you get at Raph actually happens right here, upside down. Upside down, yeah. And he is... <laughs> <laughs> you can really tell this is made by, by Michael Bay with as they're like launching him head first, or yeah, shell first into this, this armored Humvee. Yeah, it's funny. So Bay produced it. Jonathan Leavesman directed it, directed Wrath of the Titans and Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. But it definitely sort of has that Michael Bay aesthetic, I'd say, to it. There's, there's a pretty good look at uh, Raphael there the size he has the uh the simplest costume it looks like you uh -huh. know he has the most similar to what we just know although a few more look he's got kind of a tarzan thing dang I've, i think they almost all do have uh, sort yeah of and i think it makes sense to make them look a little different instead of they're all just wearing uh you know uh I, I mask of this different colors, right. you know. And at one point we know this film was just going to be called ninja turtles they went back to the full title but they certainly are stressing the words ninja turtles yeah. here and when there's a much, you know, the closest look we've got, the best look we've had at a turtle yet. And yeah, again, like Joshua, was, you were saying, it's like, all right, Leo's got a NYC button, you know, he's got a little hometown pride. A little flair. <laughs> a little flair, right. <laughs> but this is actually important here. This uh, Mikey jumping down, it gives you the size perspective. These suckers are big, yeah. right? Like the turtles, I'm used to, I guess, being human size or maybe even a little shorter. 
But uh, yeah, these these guys are towering above. Well, how can they knock over Humvees if they're not giant? Oh, but we we should talk here uh, about you know Mikey. Yeah, he's wearing a mask. He's about to take off. What else is he wearing here? He's wearing those shells, like puka shells. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he's he's a dude. You he's know? a party dude. He's party dude. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so he's just here to have a good time, and puka shells represent that. Why not? <laughs> and he's got like he's got the it's like a bracelet going on. He's kind of a little bit he's so trendy. Out. He's <laughs> and and he's handsome. There you go. <laughs> so this is obviously just a teaser. Uh, there'll be plenty more we'll be learning as Ninja Turtles gets closer in August. Thanks, guys. Cowabunga, dude. Booyakasha.